Pete here. I'm out at Dumont Dunes. This is our 10th annual Buggy Roundup. What Buggy Roundup is, is a, a dune trip with all the buggies of Dumont. Sand cars, sand rails, you know what they are. But it's a weekend where we all camp together, we run the dunes together, pretty much just get together and have a good time. It is Thursday about noon. We're, uh, we'll be out here until Sunday, but the main event is pretty much like Saturday. A lot of people get here early, and uh, yeah, camp's just starting to form right now, and uh, there'll be a lot more people rolling in today and then tomorrow as well. Done with a early sunset ride. Kind of laid it down. We just, how it always happens. We try to go out there for a nice easy cruise, and then we just hammer down. <laughs> so what happens? I can't help it. Can't help myself. On Friday, we did a little dooning earlier in the day, and then everyone pitched in and helped set up for Saturday's festivities in camp. And then after that, we went on a killer sunset ride.
This was an awesome ride. We all pulled up and parked on Sunset Hill as per usual. It was a pretty fast paced ride and everyone's hit of adrenaline hadn't quite worn off yet. But we were all pretty stoked. I love dune days like this. The weather was great, the dunes were empty. This is why we do buggy roundup in December. Dumont's never busy this time of the season and we have the place all to ourselves. As far as I'm concerned, everyone can have those holiday weekends. I want to give a shout out to Kemimoto for sending me this heated jacket. It kept me nice and warm at night and was really nice to have out the dunes. They've got all kinds of heated gear, so check them out and use my link in the description to save on yours. Saturday morning kicked off with sand cars and coffee. We had a nice little spread of donuts and breakfast stuff that everyone brought out. I love starting the day out like this. It brings everyone together in the middle of camp. We line up all the buggies, then just take a couple hours to wake up, warm up, and get the day started. We had a bunch of prizes to give away again this year, so we got raffle tickets out to everyone and had some cool new Dumont Dune Riders and Buggy Roundup swag. <laughs> the, just the ten, ten year plaque? Yeah, the X. Is the X. Ten years of buggy roundup. <laughs> it's way cool. <laughs> At first, we counted about 65 sand cars, but then realized a few guys didn't get the cars and coffee memo, and they were out on a dune ride. Then there were a few buggies that were either broke down or just didn't make it to the center of camp. But once we got everyone accounted for, we counted 75 sand cars this year. I looked up how many we had last year and it was 54, so this year was definitely a new record for us. Our very first buggy roundup, we had about 20 cars, so it really puts a smile on my face to see this huge lineup of buggies and everyone camping together for this one weekend every single year. It's amazing how buggy roundup has grown over the years and how many people it's brought together. As I said that morning out there, buggies are sort of a fading trend in the dunes these days. Us buggy guys gotta stick together, we're like a like an endangered species. But if anyone has ever ridden in or driven a sandcar, you know how much fun they are and there's no better way to run the dunes.
After the North Pole, we headed over to Comp Hill to play around, pop some wheelies, and run the hill. Then, just as I was getting ready to fly the drone, Ben came out of nowhere and blasted into those huge whoops at the basic comp. He busted a stub axle, sending his car into an uncontrolled left-hand turn. Luckily, no harm or injuries came from it, but he probably had to go back to camp and change into a clean pair of underwear. Now, I don't know if everyone had way too much coffee that morning or they were just excited as hell to play, but there was more action on that hill than 2006. You know, the old days when there was a bunch of horsepower and people racing on Comp Hill instead of just hanging out, drinking beer. Put to use already. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> this little spot 
wait for the broken stuff to go in. <laughs> okay. Let's see how the safe sled held up. Not so great. <laughs> and it was like the one time use, but it did it, it did do the job. Use this energy for something. All right, let's get this underway. Let's get some stuff out. There's a red bikini coming at you. Cold hand packs coming at you. All right, gas can. Five nine eight. Gas can. Five nine eight. 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 We had so many things to give away this year that the raffle lasted for about an hour and a half. We really appreciate all the companies and people of Buggy Roundup who personally donated all these cool prizes. So that concludes the raffle this week. I think we've given away everything except for the easy ups at this point. And those are mine to give away. Uh, rest of the day, do whatever you want, but we're going to go for a sunset ride about... So another Buggy Roundup is in the books. We've had 10 amazing years of Buggy Roundup and I'll continue to put this trip together every year. I always love seeing everyone and hanging out at Dumont. I always meet some really cool people and running the dunes with this crew is just so much fun. I really appreciate everyone who came out. If I don't see you in the sand before next year, have a great rest of your dune season and I'll see you at the same time, same place next year for the best trip of the season. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed reliving Buggy Roundup 10. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and be sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything new.